I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a consultant histopathologist. I will be talking about uterine tumors resembling ovarian sexy cord tumors. Definition and general background. They are rare neoplasms of uncertain etiology and histogenesis that resemble ovarian sex cord tumors without a component of recognizable endometrial stroma. They account for less than 0.5% of all uterine malignancies and 10% to 15% of mesenchymal uterine malignancies. Morphologically and immunohistochemically, they exhibit overlap with ovarian sex cord tumors. Clinical features include abnormal bleeding, pelvic pain, enlarged uterus, mass sensation, a subset found incidentally. Absence of just F1 SU Z12 fusion and PF H1 gene rearrangement distinguish these neoplasm from endometrial stromal tumors. No dicers 1 or FOXL2 mutations. Gross appearance. Here in these photos, we see intramural, submucosal, subserosal nodules. They are solid, round, well circumscribed masses, but unencapsulated with average 60 cm, ranging from 2 to 24 cm. Cut surface is grayish yellow to tan white. It has a firm to soft to rubbery consistency. Here we see a polypoid tumor growing in the endometrial cavity. Hemorrhage can be seen. Necrosis is unusual. Rarely predominantly cystic. Microscopic features of uterine tumor resembling ovarian sex cord tumor. This image demonstrates a well circumscribed but an encapsulated neoplasm organized in sheets, cords, nests, trabeculae, or tubules. Examples with infiltrative margins and rarely vascular invasion have been reported. Neoblastic cells have round to avoid monotonous nuclei, inconspicuous nucleoli, mild nuclear hypercomasia, rare nuclear grooves, and almost no mitosis, typically less than three mitotic figures the pair 10 high power field. This photo shows trabeculae of dark stained cells resembling ovarian sex cords. The low columnar tumor cells grow in a tubular pattern with scanty stroma. This tumor contains tubules lined by low columnar cells and nests of polygonal cells with abundant form cytoplasm. The cytoplasm varies from scant to moderate and is xenophilic to abundant and formy, and the cells are cuboidal or columnar in shape. This microscopic section reveals a multinodular tumor composed of sheets, nests, cords, and tubules of cells, having uniform over nuclei with a small amount of pale xenophilic to clear cytoplasm. 
tumor cells resemble granulosa cells. We can see some cells with a coffee bean appearance. Immunohistochemistry of UTR OSCT. Immunohistochemical profile includes positivity for calretinin, inhibin, progesterone receptor, estrogen receptor. Please note that UTROSCT characteristically exhibits a polyphenotypic immunophenotype. Sex cord markers such as calretinin, inhibin, CD99, and Milan A are most characteristic stains for this tumor. Immunoexpression for calretinin and at least for one of the other sex cord markers is required to establish a diagnosis of UTROSCT. Differential diagnosis of UTROSCT. Endometrial stromal tumors with the sex cord like elements. Endometrial stromal tumors display well defined areas of pure endometrial stroma neoplasia. Immunohistochemical stains are not helpful in this differential diagnosis. They harbor the JAS F1, J JAS1 gene fusion. It is important to keep in mind that. The distinction may be difficult in curatage specimens. In such cases, the best approach includes a descriptive diagnosis of a stromal tumor with sex cord like differentiation, stating a note that the tumor could either represent an endometrial stromal tumor with massive sex cord like elements or a U. T R O S C T. A hysterectomy is needed to further categorize the tumor. U T R O S C T do not harbor the JAS F1, J JAS1 gene fusion that characterizes endometrial stromal tumors, indicating that they are unlikely to be endometrial stromal neoplasms. Epithelioid smooth muscle tumors. They are the other main category of tumors in the differential diagnosis. They are composed of epithelial-like cells that may be arranged in cords, trabeculae, and nests, closely mimicking the microscopic patterns of UTROSCTs. The immunohistochemical profile shows overlap as both tumors are positive for muscle markers and can be positive for epithelial markers WT1 and CD10. Smooth muscle tumors are typically negative for inhibiting calretinin. The distinction is important as most UTR or SCTs behave in a benign fashion, whereas epithelioid smooth, smooth muscle tumors frequently recur or metastasize particularly when associated with some degree of mitotic activity. Diagnosis and therapy. It has a benign behavior. However, it is considered to have a certain malignant potential because of a low rate of recurrence, 5%, rare metastasis to lymph nodes, epibloic appendix, 
omentum, small bowel, subcutaneous, total hysterectomy with bilateral adnexectomy is the most common treatment, conservative surgery, that is organ preserving surgery, especially for young patients with follow up, some patients receive chemotherapy or pelvic radiation because of extrauterine extension to parametrium and ovarian hilum, positive surgical margins, local regional distant recurrent disease. These are the references. Thank you.